What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Sag, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel collective reading. Caps to Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Well, it's for Sag. It's, it's for Sag. Mid May of 2022. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate and leave the rest. Um, mid Oracle card, uh, mid May Oracle card reading. Um, I received a couple downloads um, for your uh, mid-May of 2022's reading side, so I'm going to deliver them. Okay, don't forget, um, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Only take the messages that resonate. One may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. Holy crap, that flew with a fury. Hold on one second. November. Okay, so um, the first channeling I received was a token of appreciation is what I heard. So energies can be reversed. So that could be you giving a token of appreciation to person, people, place, or situation, or someone giving you a token of appreciation to person, people, place, or situation. Um, the second one I heard an older Sag feminine is about to start getting very ill, going down, health going downhill quickly. Uh, and so older Sagittarius feminine energy about to start getting ill quickly. Whoever this older Sagittarius feminine energy is, I heard her health is about to start declining, um, going downhill and declining quickly. So whoever she is to you, she could be you or somebody connected to you. Um, older in the tarot is deemed as 40 or above. So I definitely feel she's 40 or above. She's a feminine energy. She could have Sag in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Jupiter energy for charts. Whoever she is and how she applies to you, Sagittarius. Spirit messages you have some Sag. So some kind of token of appreciation energy, whether you're giving it or you're receiving it, and some kind of older Sagittarius feminine energy about health about to start declining um, soon and quickly. Spirit messages you have some Sag. A house for sale is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life soon. For some, it is your home up for sale. For some, you are looking to buy this home. Okay, I heard a home for sale is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life soon. For some, you are looking to buy this home. For some, you are um, looking, uh, it is your home being put on the market to be sold. So only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, however it resonates, Sagittarius, if that resonates for you. Some kind of home for sale energy, whether you're looking to purchase this home or you're looking to sell your home. Okay, we have November, barrel. You feel something is lacking in your uh, life, perhaps love, money, or goals, staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. Spare messages you have on Sage. Armadillo spirit, set, set healthy boundaries. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. For some, you could be dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign. If you are, they could have Aries Leo Sagittarius or Taurus Capricorn Virgo. And their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, and Jupiter charts, if you are. Spirit messages you have on Sag.
Renewal Playfulness. Number three, six, 20 or 15 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Three, six, 20 or 15. This could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, three, six, 20 or 15. A particular Sagittarius's home business is about to go down in a huge way. Sagittarius Feminine. And a particular Sagittarius Masculine's home business is about to go up in a huge way. Home repairs. For some, some technical support. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So we've got home business energy in here, a lot of it. Um, some kind of Sag Fem energy, home business is about to go down um, in a huge way. It sounds like it's been prospering or going up, but it's about to go down in a huge way. Some kind of home business for a Sag Fem. Um, I didn't hear specifically what kind of home business it was for the Sag Fem or Fems, however that resonates in one's life, Sag Fem. But a Sag Masculine's home business, uh, at least two, I feel, in the universe is about to go up in a huge way. They're a Sag Masculine. They could have Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hand, Energy, for Charts. Heard home repairs for one of the Sag Masculines and um, uh, technical support for the other. So Sag Fem's home business, they're about to go down in a huge way for some. Uh, Sag Masculines, they're about to go up in a huge way. I heard um, home repairs for one of these Sag Masculines is their home business, it sounds like. And one is um, technical support. So, tech support. Congratulations, Sag Masculines, whoever that's for um, and that resonates for. Set healthy boundaries. A particular Sagittarius is about to get around a very sneaky person. Very sneaky person. They're about to, one is about to implant a hidden camera in your home. One is about to attempt to implant a hidden camera in your home. You really need to be careful of who you're allowing in your home. Oh my Lord. Jesus, we can't get out of the freaking hidden camera energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is terrible. So if this resonates for you, um, Dear Lord, if this resonates for you, be careful. Uh, it sounds like you're about to allow somebody in your home, your physical dwelling, your home space, if this resonates for you, Sag, whoever you are and how this applies. One is going to be successful in implanting a hidden camera in your home, if this resonates for you. It sounds like you're going to, it sounds like you're going to allow them in your home space, in your dwelling, in your area. It sounds like you trust them or you feel you could trust them and they're going to implant a hidden camera in your home space. For one, I heard they're going to attempt to, so it doesn't sound like they're going to get away with it. Um, but be careful. There's a thing out there called Hidden Camera Detector. It's free now on Android and iOS. If anybody needs to use that. Um, one's going to be successful in implanting it in your home. Somehow they're going to get in your home. It sounds like you're going to allow them in your home or somebody that lives in your home is going to allow them in your home. Um, and they're going to implant it in there. One's going to be successful. One's going to be unsuccessful. Um, self healthy boundaries in this aspect is really watching who you're allowing in your home, Sagittarius, whoever you are and how this applies, um, watching who is coming in and out of your home. For some, it might be somebody you live with that allows them in your home. I don't know. Only, you know, your story, not anybody else, but this is terrible. One Sagittarius energy worker has been getting very negative energy from another being. They have been invading your energetic space. You need to clear your energy. You have been feeling very negative thoughts lately. That's your confirmation. Oh my Lord. Ah, and one of you guys, you're a Sag energy worker. So you, you're a light worker. Um, you could be a reader. You could not be a reader, but you work on the light side spiritual realm. I feel, I feel the light side spiritual realm. Um, Whoever you are and how that applies. But um, 
somebody's been telepathically invading your energetic space. So I, they haven't been actually physically around you. They've been sending you negative energy, negative vibes, telepath, telepathically. Um, I heard you've been having negative thoughts. And so I guess that's how you know. Um, that's I heard that's your confirmation. So if you resonate with that particular message, sad energy worker, light worker, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you've been having negative thoughts, only you would know if you've been having negative thoughts or not. Um, that's your confirmation that somebody's been sending you bad vibes, bad juju, voodoo, voodoo, whatever, what have you. Um, I heard to be smart to clear your energy. So Sage, Palo Santo, um, uh, um, Black Sage, whatever kind of Sage, there's many different Sages out there, but clear in that energy field, um, if that resonates for you. So that can be set healthy boundaries too. And the astral realm and the 3D realm, if that resonates for you, whoever that applies for. Lay a solid foundation. A very famous pregnancy is about to come very public very soon. A Sagittarius pregnant. Very famous Sagittarius. Okay, I heard a very famous uh, Sag uh, pregnancy is about to come very um, public soon. So a very famous Sag. So whoever the very famous Sag is that is pregnant and it's about to come very public, Whoever you are, very famous Sag, and however it resonates, I do, obviously, I think you're a femme energy. You're a very famous femme energy public figure. I think you're a celebrity um, or a um, very public figure in some shape, form, or fashion, um, Sag. Um, and you're pregnant. It's about to become very public that you are pregnant, if that resonates for you. So, lay it solid foundation is basically um, the pregnancy energy um, is what I'm feeling here. You plug it in, how it resonates, very famous, um, public eye, energy, um, feminine, sad. So it's pregnant, and it's about to become very public that you are pregnant. Diabetes coming soon for one Sagittarius. Live results will be off the chart. Treatment needed. Oh my lord. I heard um, diabetes coming soon for one particular Sag. Live results will be off the chart. Um, we'll need treatment soon. So I'm assuming that um, your HG, um, your HG A1C will be off the charts. Um, is what I'm presuming. Um, that's usually the test they give to determine it over the period, you know, your blood glucose levels over the period of several months. But um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, that lay a solid foundation here could be um, getting treatment for your um, uncontrolled diabetes. If that resonates for you, Sagittarius. November. A very significant event happened in November of 2021. It still gives the Sagittarius nightmares. However, they had a part in this. Through many shocking series of chain of events, it's about to come back and haunt you in a huge way. Unexpectedly. Some in your dreamscape, some in your 3D. Oh my lord, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of very significant... Huge event happened in November of 2021. Um, it sounds like for some of you guys, you're trying to forget it. You're trying to block it out of your memory. Um, it, it was some kind of huge negative event. Whatever this is in your life and however it occurred. Um, I heard you're trying to forget it, but however, I heard you help cause it. You help cause it. So you tried to, you're trying to forget it and block it out of your memory, but you help cause it if this resonates for you. 
Um, but I heard uh, for some, it's about to come back and haunt you. Some in your dreamscape. So you're about to have dreams of this or uh, whatever this is that happened in November 2021. For some, it's gonna about to come back and haunt you in your everyday 3D world. So something about something horrendous that you helped cause in November 2021 that you're trying to forget is going to come back in some in your own 3D physical world um, soon. For some, it's your dreamscape. So in this aspect, it's November of 2021, if this re resonates for you. Waking up the sleeping giant is what I just heard. Waking up the sleeping giant. Waking up the sleeping giant. So maybe waking up the sleeping giant occurred in no November of 2021 or it will occur in November 2022. Some kind of waking up the sleeping giant. Now, for anybody doesn't know, waking up the sleeping giant is basically like, um, like poking the bear energy is what I'm presuming. Like poking the bear, like, you're, it's a powerful force or forces, but you just keep poking and prodding and eventually it's, it's coming out whether you want it to or not. Waking up the sleeping giant, waking up something very powerful and big, but it's like poking at it to do it and then waking it up and then bam, the sleeping giants woke up and you're like, oh shit, you know, but yep, you helped do it. I'm not saying you did. Maybe for some of somebody you're connected to, but I feel somebody was poking the bear. Or, or somebody, or maybe somebody's poking you, and you're the bear, and then you're waking up the sleeping giant, and you're the sleeping giant that's woke up. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, some kind of poking and prodding energy, either of you or somebody you're connected to, is what I'm feeling. And I feel somebody's about to poke and prod too much, and they're about to wake up the sleeping giant, or they already have, is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. Beryl, you are you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. A particular Taurus for some and a Scorpionic family member for some is about to really, really come try to attempt to come back into your life. You really have no patience for this person anymore. For some, you will tell them. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in how it resonates. For some of you guys, it's a Taurus of your past. For some, it is a um, Scorpionic family member of your past, I heard. Um, for some, it might be both. But I heard um, they're about to try at least one or two plus of these people are going to try to come back into your life soon. Um, but I heard you basically have no patience for this person or people anymore. And for some, you will tell them. So I don't think they benefit your life. I don't think they up your life. I don't think they add value to your life. I think you know this. And that's why you're about to tell them that. Uh, for some, for some, it's a Tauren. It could be a Tauren of your past from any anywhere I'm feeling. And for some, it's a Scorpionic family member specifically. So they could have Taurus or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben, Haven, Jupiter charts, however that resonates. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. I feel this person, um, this message with that channeling is basically they don't bring anything to your life fulfilling. Um, and you know it and they know it. And uh, for some, you're about to tell them is what I'm feeling. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. For one Sagittarius, a son's boyfriend is about to become very significant in your life.
For some, you will really love them. For some, you will not. You will tell your son so. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, you have a son. Um, I feel it could be a minor son or an adult son, however that resonates. But um, for for some of these sun energies, if this resonates for you, Sag, um, they're about to acquire a boyfriend. So I think they're homosexual, obviously, and they're into same sex. And they're about to acquire a boyfriend. Um, I heard for some of you guys, you will like the boyfriend. For some, you will not. But it sounds like both situations, you will tell them if you like them or not. And that's just normal and standard telling your thoughts and opinions on your son's girlfriend or boyfriend or what have you. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. A particular lawsuit is about to become very, very significant in Sagittarius's life between a religious organization and an illegal business of the past. You do not want to have to go through this, but you are about to have to do it. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, for one of you guys, I heard a particular lawsuit is about to become very significant in your life. Um, it sounds like it's going to be between you and a religious organization of the past. Um, regarding an illegal business of the past, I heard you're not going to want to have to go through this, but you're going to have to whether you want to or not. So being, take a, being taken care of in difficult times, I think, is um, you really managing your health during this time of this legal, it sounds like heavy legal loss of energy. My gosh, it's with the religious organization regarding a illegal business of the past. So it's not a loss, you know, it's not no fainy dainy lawsuit. It's a, it sounds like it's going to be a heavy legal process. So I think this is you taking care of yourself mentally and physically and emotionally and everything during this very tumultuous legal time is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's between you and a legal, uh, you and a religious organization regarding a legal business of the past. For some, uh, some unemployment is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life. Okay, I heard for some, unemployment is about to become very significant in a Sagittarius' life. And for some, retirement. And for some, retirement. So for some, um, unemployment is about to become very significant in Sagittarius' life. And for some, retirement. So only you know your story, not anybody else. Are you get, about to get into the middle of a lawsuit with a religious organization regarding illegal business of the past? Are you about to go on unemployment or apply for unemployment? Or, or are you about to retire? However that resonates. Renewal. Reconciliation energy coming soon for many Sages. Some, you're going to reach out and reconcile with this person. For some, they're going to try to reach out and reconcile with you. Fire sign energy, very heavy here. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard reconciliation energy heavy here for some of you guys. For some, you're going to reach out and try to either reconcile with this person or attempt to reconcile with them. For some, they're going to either reach out and reconcile with you or attempt to reconcile with you. Um, heavy fire sign energy. So um, you're fire sign Sag. So it's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, whether you're going to attempt to reach out, reconcile with them, or they're going to attempt to reach out, reconcile with you. They could have Aries Leo or Sagittarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hamer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, the renewal in this aspect is reconciliation energy. If that resonates for you, Sagittarius. A particular promotion is about to become very significant in this Sagittarius's life and a shout out. 
Okay, so I heard a particular promotion and a shout out is about to become very significant in a Sag's life. Well, you can keep yourself Sag, just saying, just saying, saying. It could be you uh, promoting or shouting out person, people, place, or situation, or someone promoting or shouting out you. Energies can be reverse, for reverse. For some of you guys, that could be both. So you plug it in how it resonates. So renewal is the, um, in this aspect, it's like the shout out and the promotion energy, uh, renewing the um, connection there. Whether you're doing it or someone's doing it for you or it's both. How that resonates. Playfulness. The love of a grandchild is about to become very significant in a particular Sagittarius' life. Okay, I heard the love of a grandchild is about to become very significant in a Sag's life. And a Sag, a parent is about to take a child to a playground soon. It's about to become a very, very positive experience. Okay, I heard the love of a grandchild is about to become very significant in a Sag's life. And... Um, so that's your grandchild, I'm feeling, Sag, um, or somebody you're connected to's grandchild. Um, and a Sag parent, confirmation from Fat Boy, by the way. Come on, buddy, come on. And a Sag parent is about to take, I heard, their child to a playground soon, and it's about to be a very positive experience. So playfulness with your grandchild or somebody you're connected to's grandchild and the playground experience, if it's your child, Sag, is what I'm feeling. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. This is actually a pretty good reading. There's some that have been terrible and some that have been pretty good. This one is not too bad. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. For the love of money, a significant sellout is about to become very significant in Sagittarius's life soon. Oh, my Lord. Woo. Woo. There you go. Okay. I heard for the love of money, a significant sellout is about to become very significant in the Sag's life soon. So, you know, that energy is going to be reversed. It could be you that's um, greedy and selfish and a sellout, um, or it could be somebody you're connected to. Uh, but somebody's very greedy and selfish, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to or another side or what have you. Um, very greedy and selfish, and they're about to sell out, whoever this person is and how they resonate and apply on one's life. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.